soon as I hit that button, as far as you're concerned, the trip to Knoxville starts. I've been planning this for weeks, months, getting everything packed up. It's 9.30 in the morning, car talk's coming on soon. Hit that button, and up goes the garage door. Hmm, bad luck. Crank that baby up! I'm heading to Locksville. No, I don't like locks, too salty. Amazing how you can leave things on the hood and drive away, or the trunk in this case, and it's still there when you get to your destination. Wonder how my spark plug repaired it. Actually, I'm positive that it's good. It's in there good and tight. I'm gonna crank this baby up. Roofing nailer, got that. Spark plug re-threading tools, got that. Money for my vacation, $10. Keys. Got that. Ready? Set the chokes. Crank her up! Emergency brake. I checked my brake fluid because it leaks onto my nice new carpet which now has a brake fluid stain. Whoa, that's close. Close only counts in horseshoes. Crank that baby up. I've got so much crap. Burn off that oil. She's a tired old motor. Phew! Ain't no fuel injection here, that's for sure. Wow. Just took a shower, so much for that. I'm bathing in oil smoke until that cylinder fires. I'm going to turn this baby off because it's for stinking. Now, what do you think of this? Lots of good 67 master cylinder, turbo carburetor, spring ring battery cables, spare batteries, and clothes, and a computer, and used engine oil. Yep, I'm going to put in used diesel oil. Got a thousand mile trip to Knoxville. I'm not putting in fresh oil. I'm done. Too expensive. Three or four dollars a quart. I've been using synthetic. Five dollars a quart. Forget about it. Phew! Stinks of diesel fuel. I think that Corvair's a diesel that burns so much. Speaker grills. All kinds of goodies. Air conditioning. Spare fan belts. Yep, we're ready. Road trip. Road trip. One hour later. I love the clack of that lever. Reminds me of when my dad used to lower the convertible top on his 65 Pontiac. Oh, that's a long time ago. Putting the top down. I got all my junk, two coolers, tablet computer, Atlas, Matza, clothes, hat, jacket. It's supposed to be 97 degrees all week in Knoxville. <laughs> Let's see how far I get. Let's see how far I get. Close everything up. I think I have enough Stuff in here, wire drills, wire nuts, air conditioning controls, direct troll, turbo carburetors, lots of those, a shovel just in case I get stuck in the mud, a trailer hitch adapter, wiring, all kinds of goodies, computer, newspaper that I'll never read, long clothes, tub bout diverter, and everything fits in the trunk of my Corvair. I'm going to put my blazer in the warehouse. I almost forgot and cranked this baby up. All right, let's try this again. The blazer is parked. Oh, I got junk. Remember those drills I got at the junkyard in New Mexico? One drill worked fine. It was just the chuck was seized. The other drill is totally dead. One drill works fine for now anyways. Lock this door up. Make sure the escape convicts can't get in here. And crank this baby up. I don't need my keys anymore. 
Don't forget that I've got a padlock key here. And I'll put that right there. And my bottle of water. And crank this baby up. Oh, she sounds real good. Drop her and drive and away we go. Oh, wait a minute. Remember what I told you? When you put things on the hood of the vehicle or the trunk or the roof and you forget them? Uh-huh. My key to like padlock. I bought 15 or 20 of these. Oh, that sounds real smooth. Ready for a thousand miles, 1600 kilometer trip. Uh-huh. Yeah, baby. All right, we're heading out and that thing's burning oil. Drop her in gear, emergency brake off, turn off the interior lights, and hope she stops sputtering and runs on all six. Running rich. Why is she running rich? Ah, it'll smooth out. Ah, it'll be fine. Yeah, running on all five cylinders. Ah, crap. So here we go. There it is, running all six. 10.43 a.m. And we are heading to Buffalo, Ohio, and Knoxville, Tennessee. Hope to be there Sunday night. We'll see how that goes. Hey, there's two guys running in the woods. Could be them. No, they're long gone. They're in Mexico. Off we go. Road trip. Even filled up my tank when I parked here last week. Drove the two miles to the interstate and I can't make any more videos because it gets too windy. There's a work zone here. Obey speed limits. Respect our troops. They're back from war. The military keeps us free. And the speed zones keep the state coffers full because they give too many tickets. Speed zones are an exception. But everybody's zooming along, tailgating, roadkill. Speed limit 45. There could even be a roadblock, but I think they're replacing a couple of bridges. That's what's happening. New bridges. Your tax dollars at work. Hope you paid your taxes. I did. Lots of it. More bridge construction and Poco Moonshine Mountain. I'm going to try and fill up at only ethanol free gas stations. We'll see how that goes. Some people don't care at all. No problem at all. Ethanol in my gas. Never had a problem. But I like using ethanol free gas. You pay a premium for premium non ethanol. countryside. Wait! There's the escape prisoners! Oh, look, they're over there! <laughs> oh, where the heck are those guys? Hope they don't kill anybody. That's the problem. Vicious guys. Nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. Big machines. Maybe they'll drive one of those through town. Right through the prison wall. equipment. Anybody climbing that mountain today? That cliff face? Not that I see. I'm sure there are. It's a beautiful day. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. And off we go. Buffalo, here we come. Off to Buffalo. Shuffle off the buffalo. Wee! Love that wind noise. Beautiful scenery. Doo -doo -doo. Off the buffalo. Time for a rest stop. 
I've been chugging up the hills in the Adirondacks in the slow lane and all of a sudden she's missing randomly on one cylinder. Reminds me of that Buick Roadmaster that's still sitting in Florida. The guy texted me the other day, when are you coming to get it? I said, no time soon, shipping's too expensive. Yeah, I was chugging up the hill. It wasn't that bad. Air cooled. Lovely. So why is she missing on one cylinder? I ain't pulling those spark plugs. Come on back. Yeah, sounds like it's one cylinder. And I'm probably better off not touching anything. Because we know what happened last time I did that. Last time I touched something. Yeah, there's that bad cylinder. Chugging up the hills. Firing in all three. Yep, I got a fouled spark plug again. Question is, do I want to touch it or leave it? what I'm doing. There's no point in putting fresh oil in. I'm tired of spending the money. Five bucks a quart for a 15W, 5W40. Yep, Rotella used Welch's grape juice. Good, nice black oil. I guess any oil is better than no oil. Good enough for now. Good enough for now. Fill her up. Look, 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 look. 